guys, how's it going? It's Al, week 13, and I've got the top 10 players that you need to have in DraftKings Rainmakers for this week in NFL DFS. I'm going to go through three different captains and then go over players from quarterback, running back, wide receiver, uh, and or tight end. Let's just say pass catcher. Obviously, you can tell there's probably going to be a tight end on this list this week for you that I think are the 10 optimal plays on the week. So thank you all for being here. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the notifications bell, and let's go. He's a legend. The week 13 Smith Gang Listener League is up. Make sure that you get into it. It's $10 to enter, three max, $35,000 in the prize pool, and absolutely no rake. You have to go to smizzle.tv slash links. I forgot where I had to go. I was going to tell you like the exclamation point thing for the chat in, uh, in Twitch, but like, no, you go to smizzle.tv slash links. That will give you the link to the Listener League. Best tournament that exists on DraftKings. Definitely go check it out and get in there today because it's going to fill. Patrick Mahomes is the top captain of the week. If you have him, great. If you don't, he's going to be costly. And we're coming to this point in the season where card prices are starting to separate. There's a reason for this because playoffs, there will be Rainmaker. And the teams that have basically locked up spots in the playoffs or are the favorites to get deeper into the playoffs, maybe play on wild card weekend, get through the divisional round, go to the championship round, possibly the Super Bowl. Their cards are going to cost you more money because you have three to four weeks potentially of uh, extra utility out of them. We'll see how DraftKings does playoffs. They're going to do a Saturday game or a Sunday game. If they're going to offer showdown slates or whatever, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we get to the playoffs, but just know that your playoff potential cards are certainly going to be in play. Now, Patrick Mahomes, very expensive in daily fantasy uh, to roster in a salary cap game. But if you have Patrick Mahomes, you get all the goodness of being in that game and you can play whatever combinations you want. No salaries involved in Rainmakers. The only price to entry is uh, what the cards cost you. So $16 for his core cards is about the floor there. Uh, the rare cards right around $65 to $70. It gets more expensive as you climb the ladder in tiers. Uh, but that's where he's sitting. If you have your Mahomes cards, I believe that right now they are the odds on favorite from the AFC to go to the Super Bowl ahead of the Bills currently. Number two, Devontae Adams. Now, you might notice a difference in the prices for the Devontae Adams cards here in just a second. It's a great matchup. Uh, Devontae Adams has been crushing three of the last four games with 30-plus DraftKings points. He now gets the Chargers. They're going to be able to move the football, one of the best offensive environments on the week. But looking at his prices, wow, Mahomes is really expensive. And Adams, not as expensive. Not because he hasn't put enough points. But this is the playoff thing that I was talking about. The, the Raiders... Nobody's mathematically eliminated in this middle range yet. More things can happen. They played a week 18. Maybe they win out. Maybe they get to the playoffs. Unlikely that they do, but it's not impossible that they do. So these cards, people are trying to sell off, which is creating a race to the bottom on some non-playoff team cards. You can still get utility out of weeks 13 through 18. So if you wanted to try and build lineups, especially in a situation like this, in my Devontae Adams Raiders stacks, where I've had Derek Carr, uh josh jacobs and Devonte adams and i've played the trio the last two weeks i've won an awful lot of money an awful lot of money the last two weeks in rainmakers just by building these lineups through these raiders triplicates quarterback running back and wide receiver through Devonte adams again really fast paced game weather controlled situation uh in the roomba and Devonte adams very cheap option if you're just starting out in core and want to dip your toe. You can build really good lineups for weeks 13 through 18 and disregard the playoffs this, uh, right now in Daily Fantasy for Rainmakers for like way less than you could at any point during the season. You're looking at like $30 to $40 for a potentially very high scoring lineup. Christian McCaffrey is the third superstar. Now, typically, this is on projection points. I typically try not to build around superstar running backs because I want to build around superstar stacks, right? Whether it's a quarterback like Mahomes, a wide receiver that gives me more access to things, the quarterback uh, allows you access to the wide receivers and no two pass catcher quarterbacks on the same team can be superstars at the same time. So like Josh Allen Diggs, only one can be a superstar. Jamar Chase Burrow, only one can be a superstar. If you have superstar running back, so I believe that the number is like five of the six top QBs this week are superstars on projection. And I think four of the top five running backs that project on the main slate are also superstars. So you can get to that really high game. We've seen running backs get like 40 to 55 points in a game when they've been superstars and carry lineups through. Christian McCaffrey certainly in that mold 
with multiple touchdowns always on the table for him and all the pass game work which, which correlates really really well I like that he has two color cards here so he's got the blue uniform he's got the red uniform they're not going to make the playoffs so you're getting discounts on him as well seven dollars in core thirty dollars at the uh at the rare tier non-superstars tend to be a little bit more pricey if you're playing in the higher tiers like elite which has got the biggest prize pool two hundred fifty thousand dollar gpp uh with a hundred thousand to first 375 for his floor elite card if you wanted to talk more about nfts or rainmakers specifically make sure that you join our discord and our token lock section of the discord specifically for rainmakers chat go to smizzle.tv slash hq please only use my link smizzle.tv slash hq will take you directly to the hq key page uh, they are 0.1 Ethereum to purchase. And then if you go to our Discord at smizzle.tv slash Discord, there's a collab land bot. You click one button and you immediately get access to the entire HQ portion, token lock portion of our Discord, where a couple hundred people are talking about uh, NFTs and specifically Rainmakers all the time at a very high level, as well as all of my market advice on how to play the game. I know there's not much time left in the season, but jump in today. Deshaun Watson, speaking of non-superstars, we got seven of them for you. Two quarterbacks, two running backs, three wide receivers. Deshaun Watson in a revenge game, one of the the only one quarterback that's not a superstar in the top six projected players this week. He has a good matchup. We'll see how rusty he is after sitting out like one and a half full seasons. He hasn't played since uh, the COVID year of 2020. His cards, because they're not probably going to make the playoffs, they're not expensive. You can get to watson double stacks to wrap around a superstar like let's say you go after that christian mccaffrey getting to that deshaun watson double stack with njoku with cooper with donovan peoples jones is not going to be expensive at all specifically at the core or the rare tiers uh seven eight dollars for his core card 30 ish dollars 30 to 40 for his rare tier cards for a guy who was always a top five quarterback in terms of fantasy points per game scoring when we last knew him Geno Smith comes, uh, I like the green. I, why do I like the confetti cards? I always like them a lot. Geno Smith in another situation where he's had uh, averaging 20 fantasy points per game and get you access to two very highly concentrated target guys with Lockett and DK Metcalf. Very easy. Another stack that you can wrap around a superstar running back. So if you have superstar running backs, those Geno singles or Geno doubles are certainly a way that you can go this week. You look at the difference in price with him. They project to go to the playoffs. This is exactly what I was talking about. His core card, $16, but escalate very fast to like 26. Mind your serial numbers because that is the tiebreaker. Uh, and wrapping these singles or double stacks around one of your superstar running backs, Geno Smith, projects very well every single week. And you know where the ball's going when it leaves his hands. Josh Jacobs has been ridiculous. The RB1 or the RB2, regardless of what scoring system you're using, but depending on it, right? Like he's no lower than two in anything else. So Josh Jacobs, not on a playoff team here, at least not right now. Unless they win out, they really don't have any shot of making the playoffs. And even if they do, they need other things to happen. They do play at home this week. And Jacobs has seen so much volume, like 40 opportunities last week not really practicing this week or at least they said he wasn't going to practice on monday they say he practiced in a limited fashion yesterday which means he could have been on the sideline doing individual stuff or stretching with a trainer or riding on a bike he was on the field so he had to say practice in limited capacity they're going to test him out and see if he goes this weekend coming off that 51 point game his price tag 13 dollars, 14 dollars at the core tier and because he's a non-superstar he can get played up uh to another tier so if you have a core you can play him you can play one core up in rare tier rare you can play him up in elite and a lot of people myself included have been doing exactly that wrapping our quarterback wide receiver quarterback pass catcher superstar stacks around a josh jacobs card because he's got such a high floor uh of targets such a high floor of carries uh and basically the rb1 that he is a very valuable card even though he's not going to the playoffs if the raiders were a playoff team and he was not a superstar, his core would be up around 30 to $40 at this point, but being held down because they're not going to be there in the playoffs. Travis Etn Jr. I believe he's going to play this weekend. At least that's where all signs are pointing us right now. The foot injury that he missed last game with, uh, he's practicing right now. They're saying that he's on track to play. If he doesn't play, here's the trick. Don't play him. 
His cards are not very expensive. Same thing. Again, look, you can get $7. You've already heard my rants on this channel about like just throw the fact that they trolled us last week by ETN leaving that game and they threw five, Hasty got five catches in relief of Travis ETN. Just throw him the ball. It would make everything and everyone's life so much easier. The rare tier, he's up at 40 because he can get called up and he's projecting so well to the elite tier that a lot of people who play this game uh, hardcore are buying this card here to play him up in elite. If you have a rare ETN, you're probably not playing him in uh, the rare tier. You're probably paying up to get him up here with your elite lineups wrapped around elite quarterback stacks. Amon Ra St. Brown has 35% of the target market share on Detroit. That's a lot. Okay, like it's a whole lot. It's really, really high. And he plays in the best offensive environment, one of the two best offensive environments this weekend against Jacksonville. Jacksonville has not played a lot of uh, wide receiver ones on the year, but the last two that they played against have posted absolute monster games uh, on DraftKings with like nine, 10 catches, 130, 145 yards. It was Devontae Adams and Christian Kirk. Uh, most of the other games have been against teams that do not have an alpha level wide receiver. Amon Ross St. Brown definitely does profile as that. Would not shock me at all to see the Sun God get like eight catches for 120 yards and a touchdown this weekend. His cards, even though they don't project to go to the playoffs, are somewhat pricey, but not really high. $15 here, but he is a key call up for so many people. Again, myself included, that his rare cards, $50, $65. His elites, uh, you can get a floor elite for $480. Uh, 625 here is the next jump and then really high for the people that want to play him up in the uh, the Rainmakers tier. But if you're just a toe dipper, if you're just getting into Rainmakers, you want to try it out, you heard about it all year, maybe I should try it. Having that one-off play uh, or a correlated play, if you're going to play somebody on Jacksonville as well, Amon Ross St. Brown, maybe mixed with, uh, with a little Travis Etienne, cost you like $21, $22 in total. That's not a lot to start. And the key is you can play them every single week the rest of the season. Travis Kelsey is a monster. He is the number one pass catcher on the week in terms of projection right now. Pairs very well with those Patrick Mahomes lineups if you have them. Or if you have a Joe Burrow, he's the key bring back in that stack as well. Whether you're playing singles or doubles with your Burrows, with Higgins or Chase, uh, you can bring that back with Kelsey. Same goes the other way. If you're playing Mahomes, you're playing Kelsey along with him because they've just been tremendous this year with like, what, 11, 12 touchdowns? Uh, a thousand yards. He's he's ridiculous. He is getting points, and tight ends don't do this. He's getting points like an alpha wide receiver, which is something that tight ends don't normally do. Tight ends are not players that you typically want to play in Rainmakers games because the wide receivers just score more. Tight ends, you're happy if you get like 12, 14 points. To win a Rainmakers tournament, that's not really doing it for you. So as a result, 27, 28, 30 bucks for a core Travis Kelsey. As I said, Right now, the Super Bowl favorites go or to leave the AFC and go to the Super Bowl. I don't know what the prize pool is going to be in the Super Bowl for Rainmakers, but it's going to be big and you're going to have to have the teams that are in it. So people are making their bets uh, through Rainmakers that they're going to have access to those games as the playoffs roll along, that these players stay healthy. $100 for his rare. Hopefully you had already bought in well before people started pushing up. And you can see the, the price difference in all those non-playoff cards now and the playoff cards. And the last guy that we're going to talk about, welcome back to the field, Jamar. I don't know what capacity of Jamar Chase we're going to get. I think we're not going to get him back unless he's 100%. He was ready to go last week, and then at the last second, him and the team both decided, you know what, I'm not 100%. I don't think he plays if he can't play a full complement of snaps. Now, we got kind of okey-doked last week with Hollywood Brown. The Cardinals are on... Uh, a bye week this week where they said, well, he's going to be on a pitch count. He's going to play like 50% of the snaps. Then he played 95% and led the team in target market share. If Jamar Chase is out there, I am inclined to think that he is going to be playing a full volume of snaps. Now, if you didn't buy him in the last couple of weeks, that price at the higher tiers has gone up. His core is still down here around, you know, 13 to $14. So like you can get in there if you're a toe dipper, $60 for his, uh, his rare tier cards. But the elites and the legendaries have flown. 3,700 for the cheapest legendary, 800, 685 for the momentum series, 800 plus for any of the other ones. Uh, so hopefully, if you bought into Jamar, you bought in while he was still injured on the speculation that he would be back and the Bengals would be in the playoffs. So thank you all for watching. Good luck this weekend on DraftKings and look out for another video.
right there. He's a legend.